Hey everyone, it's Kathy and welcome back to my channel. And I cannot believe we are at the end of March. This month just flew by. So I'm about to share my favorites in fashion, beauty, skincare, healthy lifestyle, and some TV shows to recommend. So if you're excited, sit back, relax, and let's get into the video. So the first thing that I want to share with you are these yoga pants that I found on Amazon and they're by the company CRZ. And they're, I think they're, they're Butter Luxe, uh, leggings but I've been working out in March I'm working with a personal trainer and I'm starting a walking challenge so I wanted some leggings and I saw these and the quality is really really good for Amazon I was really surprised I wasn't expecting the quality to be that great but they are and they're available in a ton of colors and they're so comfortable to wear and i'm excited to do my walking outside it's still a little cold out so i'm walking inside but i wanted to share these with you they're probably a lot cheaper in the u.s but in canada i think they were around 60 dollars, which is a lot for a pair of leggings and my first thought was if i'm going to spend that much money on leggings i'm going to buy them from athletic because i know their quality is great but these i think are right up there with athletic now I haven't had them a long time so you know I can't speak to how long they will last but these are a 3x I followed their sizing chart well actually their sizing chart wasn't even on Amazon Canada I had to go searching on Google for it I decided to go with the 3x and I would say that they fit spot on because I don't want anything too tight and these are in navy so if they last you know through uh, the spring i may get some more colors for summertime and i also bought another pair from athleta they had a great sale on and i got these because they have a pocket on the outside that i can slip my phone into and these definitely fit a little more um, compression light and you can tell like the material is more compression light than the ones i just showed you but they're both still, I think, you know, excellent choices. And they have two pockets on either side, which will be great for holding my phone. And these are a 2X. So, you know, I wash my leggings in the washing machine, usually with my um, workout tops. And then I always hang these. I have like a drying rack in the laundry room and hang them to dry. But they have a nice fitted leg, which I like for exercising. So wanted to show these. Uh, leggings to you as well. So I did show you this I think about a month ago in a haul video but I wanted to mention them again because I really do love the Athleta v-neck breezy tees. I wear them around the house you know with shorts in the summer. You can wear them working out. This is a 1x and I'm finding out the 1x in Athleta is just a little too big for me. So I did size down to an XL. They had a sale on last week, 20% off. So I picked up another top and I like the XL. It is a little bit more fitted, but I think by the end of April, it's going to fit me fine. I mean, it's fine for me to wear. It's just that it's a little more fitted than what I'm used to wearing. But as I'm losing weight, I'm trying to uh, adjust, you know, my sizing because I still don't see myself as I look now, if that makes sense. So love Athleta's tops. And I want to show you the spring coat that I've been actually wearing all of March, which is, um, you know, very rare for us. We're usually still wearing our winter coats, but it's been such a mild winter. So this is actually last year's model, and it is the Athleta Rainout Sutra Trench Coat. And it's a shorter version. You can get a longer version. This is in a size 1X. The color is definitely like a light pink. Now, they do not have this color this year, but they do have other colors. It has a hood, which is great, a front zip, and snap pockets. And it does have two front pockets, adjustable snaps at the uh, wrists if you want to make it more, you know, smaller. And it has an elasticized waistband. So the waistband is not adjustable. It's just elasticized. This is a 1X, but if I was buying another one, I would size down to an XL because this is a little more roomy on me. But for the amount of time that I'm going to be wearing a spring coat in April, I'm not going to bother getting another one because anymore we just go from heat on to air conditioning on. Like spring just um, isn't doesn't exist anymore where we live. But excellent, excellent quality. And I bought this last year 
wore it all last spring and wore it in the fall. It's a lovely, lovely coat. Another thing that I have been loving in March is the Co-Pilot Fitness app. I worked with them in this video where I told you how I'm getting fit at 55 and I have to say I love it. So what it is is you have your own personal trainer. You speak through text or you can do like Zoom calls and she tailors the program specifically to you. So what I'm doing is three times a week I do a weight routine, a yoga routine, and a core routine and she blends that all into one workout that lasts between 20 and 30 minutes because that is what I wanted and I'm already starting to see the difference like my arms are getting toned. I really love lifting weights but I hate going to the gym. I just don't feel comfortable in the gym. Don't know about gym etiquette and I just I'd rather work out at home in the privacy of my own home. So I'm really loving that. So I'll link that below in case you're interested. Another favorite are these loafers by Talbots. I have them on my feet right now. I love them. I've been wearing them every day that I can when there's no snow on the ground. They're available in a ton of colors and I always wear my size 10. I don't have any issues buying shoes from Talbots online. They always just fit me perfectly and I find that the quality is really great. I always wait when they have a sale on like 30 40% off but uh, I really do love their shoes and I love the look of loafers with jeans and that is my next favorite for March is something I discovered when I was going through my drawers was this pair of wit and wisdom jeans that I had bought last year at the Nordstrom anniversary sale or maybe it was two years ago must have been two years ago because they they closed up Canada operations last year, but they fit me and they're actually a little on the loose side, but I'm wearing the heck out of them because they're so comfortable. And as you know, I'm not really a jeans person because I can't stand to wear anything that is tight or constricting. And I don't even know that I'm wearing these. They're so, so comfortable. They have the lightest hint of distressing on the leg. They are a lighter wash. I typically go for a uh, darker wash, but you know, a lighter wash is nice for the spring. And I find that these jeans are dressy enough that you know if you want to wear them with a nice blouse or a sweater with some different shoes um you know that would be fine they're very very versatile they're not like distressed enough that you know they look like they should be going into the trash they're uh, they're really nice quality and i'm wearing a size 20. And I love this Kate cardigan from Talbots. I love the color. This color is definitely me. This is a plus petite 2X. The sleeves are a little long, but I just roll them up a bit. And it's a nice weight sweater. Sometimes I'll wear it just by itself, like done up like that. Uh, you can wear a camisole underneath if you want to. You don't have to. Or I'll wear it over a, a t-shirt or a top or something absolutely love it i love the neckline the beautiful buttons and it's available in a ton of colors so absolutely have been loving this so the next thing i'm really excited to show you about is this Obseo cashmere scarf. It's 100% cashmere and it is so soft. This scarf is absolutely gorgeous. It's really, really, really long. So it works as like a scarf, as a wrap. It's, let me show you how wide it is. It's available in a ton of vibrant, beautiful colors. Like I, I don't think I can even get all of it in frame. That's you know, how beautiful and how huge this scarf is. So it's great for this time of the year because it's so lightweight. Can wear it, you know, wrapped around the shoulders, can wear it as a scarf. Like I can wear this with jeans. I could wear this with like a nice dress. It is just so versatile. This scarf folds up and it takes up very little space. It goes perfectly in my purse. It's going to be great to have in my purse, say if we go to a restaurant, as the restaurants start putting their air conditioning on, sometimes it can be a little cold. Just put this on over my shoulders and it's going to be perfect. And with Mother's Day coming up, this would make the perfect gift. You could get the woman in your life, your mom, sister, friend, daughter, a beautiful scarf that is going to last a very long time. And it is such a premium scarf, but it's lightweight and so versatile. They have so many different colors. The next one that I want to buy is the beautiful blue. It's just, it reminds me of Greece. It's, the colors are just absolutely gorgeous. So I'll link this below if you want to go take a peek at all the different colors. 
but I absolutely love this off seal scarf. So sandal weather is coming and I wanted to get another pair of the Mephisto Helen sandals. I love these. They still have the tags on. I was wearing them around the house yesterday just to make sure that they fit. These are a size 10. That is my normal size. And I forget what the color is, but I'll link it below. But it's a, it's a lighter beige, I guess you could call it. I think this is new buck leather, but the reason why I like Mephisto is I have very flat feet and they have like a really built-in comfort orthotic bed. And whenever my feet, I first put them in, you can really tell how flat my feet are because with the orthotic bed, I guess it makes my foot stretch or however it sits and it just feels really, really good. The buckle is adjustable. When they came to me, it was on the third buckle and it was just too tight on my foot. So you just, you know, undo the buckle and you can adjust it for yourself. It has good grips on the bottom and tons of fun, fun colors. So they do fit pretty true to size. Go by their um, sizing chart. And I bought these right off the Mephisto website. So I know Nordstrom has them. I'll link them in a few different places. And you know, I may pick up another pair. I really like the gold and the silver metallic. I think the gold would be nice for whenever I get a tan when I'm out uh, side, whenever the sun, the sun is out in the summer, of course. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to talk about some beauty products. And I have been trying to do a makeup video at least once a month, just in case you're missing them. I will link the playlist in the description box. And you get to the description box, if you see underneath this video, the three dots and it says more, click on the more, that expands the box. And that's where you see everything that I have shown to you listed in the order that I showed to you, as well as any discount codes that I have. And I always try and put everything in the description box in the first pinned comment. So I'm gonna take back something that I had said, and I don't like the It Cosmetic CC Cream, the original one, but I have rediscovered the illuminating one and I actually am liking it now because I found the perfect way for me to apply it onto my skin. So this is the Illumination CC Cream and I love this one because it is great for spring and summer. Well, you can wear it any time of the year, but if you want to look a little glowy in the spring and summer, that's what I'm wearing today. Oh gosh, I even forgot to put my powder on. I just realized that. But this is in light medium. And I think one of the reasons why I am loving it so much is I have found the perfect brush. So I did a video probably four or five years ago on how to best apply this with a beauty blender. And if you like using a sponge, you know, the beauty blender works really well with the CC cream, but I am loving this BK Beauty. It's their 101 contoured foundation brush and this works like magic. I used to put the foundation right onto my skin, but I was watching one of Lisa J Makeup's video, how she demonstrated using her brush because she is the uh, CEO of BK Beauty. And now I will put a pump on the top of my hand and then I'll just dip my brush into it. And then I'll just kind of bounce it all around my skin to disperse the foundation. And then I just keep pouncing it in, you know, going uh, around the cracks of the nose and that. And it usually takes two pumps. So one pump, I'll do this side of my face and the other pump, I'll do the other side. And I just take my time, like really pushing it into the skin and then look close in your magnifying mirror. You might have to like touch up a little bit around your nose or up in the corners around your nose. I even close my eyes and go over my eyelids. And I really am liking this. So if you're somebody that does not like to wear sunscreen, we know we should be wearing sunscreen year round. This does have an SPF of 50 in it, but just remember, don't rely on your makeup products for your sunscreen. It's really, really important to wear a separate sunscreen. So this is gonna be so nice for the spring and summer, and I'm gonna be doing, I'll try and do get ready with me videos at least once a month for those of you that do enjoy them. I enjoy doing them, but hardly anybody ever watches them. <laughs> but I'll still continue to do them for those of you that have requested that I do some makeup videos. So I just wanted to mention this combo and I do have a discount code 
It's Kathy 10. If you use it at BK Beauty, I'll link it below and you can save 10% site-wide. I have absolutely been loving this Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit. And I'll put the shade that I'm wearing below, but it has a spoolie on one end and then it has this retractable pencil part, which is on a slant. And I have to tell you, this pencil, I think it's gonna push my It Cosmetics Universal Eyebrow Pencil out of first place. It is so easy to use and and it is such a soft pencil. I don't have to press hard. I've had eyebrow pencils before where you pretty much have to rip your skin to get them on because they're so dry. I absolutely love this and it does a really great job. So this is uh, the color 2.5 and it doesn't budge. It stays where it's supposed to stay all day long and it goes on great. And if you have a difficult time, you know, putting your eyebrows on, you might wanna try this pencil ton of different shades. You should be able to find a shade that matches for you. And it is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about skincare. And you know I love skincare and you know I love to exfoliate. And I'm so excited I found a new exfoliator. This one is by Paula's Choice and it is a leave-on exfoliator. So you just put a little bit on a cotton ball cotton pad. I like those Shiseido cotton pads. And it has 6% mandelic acid, 2% lactic acid. And it has a time released 8% AHA multi-layer complex. And it's for all skin types. And it improves dullness and fine lines, improves sun damage. It's great. I really love it. I use this a couple times a week because I do uh, use other exfoliators, but I really do like this. It does have a very strong scent. Um, I don't like the scent, but it doesn't stick around. It's just when you first open it and put it on your cotton pad. And it does work because one night my skin was really dry. I had a lot of problems with my skin this winter. It was just very dry and I had exfoliated, but I noticed that I still had some um, dead skin cells sitting around. So I used this and they were gone. So it works great and I love it. And um, I do like some of Paula's choices. I've used this for years. It deserves a mention. It is the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream. I use this year round. One of these lasts me pretty much a year. And I buy them during the Sephora sale and that's coming up, I believe, in April. So I put on morning and night. It takes the most tiniest amount and I put it on starting here I go up underneath the eye and then I'll close my eye I'll even put it on my eyelid absolutely love this um, I feel very hydrated in the under eye area so if you struggle with dryness in your under eyes you might want to give this a try I want to mention these again it's really important to get rid of the peach fuzz and any dead skin that's sitting on the top layer of your face. One of the easiest ways to do that is you can use one of these little razors by Sephora. They come in a pack of either three or four. They're so economical. And if you buy them during the Sephora sale, they're probably gonna be like 30% off. So I just take the cap off and then you just shave your face. Like go down on like a 45 degree angle and then I will go up because don't forget to shave your neck. There's always, you know, some peach fuzz there or some stray whiskers. I'll use these about two times and then I'll get a new one. You can always clean the end with rubbing alcohol. And if you don't want to use these, I highly recommend the Derm Flash. I use that probably, I should use it more often, maybe once a month. But it's great because it runs by uh, battery. You charge it and there's two different levels. There's like a, just the one, I use mine mostly on level one, but then there's a higher level and it really does a great job of removing any dead skin and any peach fuzz. And you wanna get rid of those things so your skincare penetrates better, so it's going to do its job. And also so your makeup is not sitting on top of your peach fuzz. You may not you know, notice that you have peach fuzz, but just, you know, take a really good look in a magnifying mirror and you'll see, and trust me, it makes the world of difference. And you will not grow a beard. That's just an old saying. Um, I know some women use like regular razors to shave their face. I just think it's really important as we age because another important thing that it does is it exposes the healthy glowing skin cells that are underneath like this kind of dead paste that just sits on top of our skin. So it's really important to exfoliate. If you want to, you know, 
know, start simple. You could try these and uh, see how they go. So now let's talk about some health items and I'm really excited to talk about my Nutra Blender. It had sat in my pantry for years, but now that I'm, you know, uh, actively losing weight and trying to eat better and make better choices, my personal trainer told me on the days when I'm lifting weights to try and get like a lot of protein in in the hour, you know, after I'm finished. So I don't really like to eat a big breakfast. So on the days that I'm working out, I'll just have like a small Oikos yogurt cup. Then I'll go and work out. And then, you know, within an hour, I will make myself a very easy smoothie. And I use Greek yogurt. You can use the zero plain if you like that. I can't stand the taste. I use always the 2% uh, Oikos vanilla yogurt. And I put approximately a cup in because the Greek yogurt is the protein. And then I'll put in frozen berries. So I don't buy fresh berries for my smoothies. I always buy frozen. I'll throw in a handful of blueberries, raspberries. Um, this week I bought some dragon fruit. I've never tried dragon fruit. So we're going to see if we like that. You can even buy frozen banana slices if you don't want to use um, yeah, a full banana. Now, some people say you could throw in some protein powder. I spoke with my nutritionist a couple days ago, and uh, she thinks that just add a little bit more yogurt that, in her opinion, that's just going to um, do the same job. So to save myself some money, I'll just use the yogurt instead of the protein powder. So that's just a little tip. And I am working on what I eat in a week video, but it's going to take me a while to get there because half the time I forget to film it. So now now I have some TV shows to recommend. So we finished watching Bull and to be honest the last season was probably our least favorite. Like I'm not really uh, sad that it ended. It just I don't know that there was a different writers or it's, it just didn't feel like it had the same vibe. It was a great show. We loved it but just the last season was just kind of okay but the ending was really nice and I like how the how the show did end and I heard that um, Tony and Ziva are now going to be getting their own NCIS show I've seen it on Instagram and I shared it in my stories and I just can't wait because they were two of our favorite characters in the original NCIS and speaking of NCIS we have now started watching NCIS Hawaii and oh my gosh we love it well first of all the scenery and I just like the cast they all kind of you know jive well together so we're really loving NCIS Hawaii and I also wanted to mention that we finished watching season two of Bosch Legacy if you haven't watched Bosch watch the original Bosch and then after I don't know how many seasons they went to Bosch Legacy with some different characters not all of the original characters are in it but we really enjoy that so season one and two of Bosch Legacy did we watch that on Netflix maybe it was either Netflix or Amazon one of those so if you wonder what tops you can wear to help hide a tummy go check out this video and I will meet you over there and remember subscribe and share my channel. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you soon. Bye.